What's going on you guys, it's your boy Lloyd here. So uh, I had a question from a viewer uh, and he writes, he writes basically, Lloyd, uh, I've been using dating apps for as long as this quarantine has been going on <laughs> um, and I haven't had much luck. Uh, so far I've only used Tinder and Bumble and the matches that I've gotten haven't really responded to me and I haven't really gotten a lot of matches to begin with. Should I be using other dating apps? Is there any point to this? Thank you so much, look forward to hearing your answer. Okay, cool. So uh, yeah, let's help this guy out because uh, this is something that I talk about a lot in my 5% dating program. Okay, so we're going to talk about the benefits of using different apps on this video, um, which is basically should answer the guy's question because no, uh, Tinder and Bumble are not the only things that you should be using. And if you're only using those and you're not getting great results, uh, I would recommend that you try a few other apps. So I'm just going to kind of run through the main apps that I, you know, usually you're going to encounter when you download them on the app store. They're usually available worldwide. There's a few that I'm not going to mention, which are kind of secret <laughs> uh, that I use. And you kind of need to know how to plan. Um, you kind of need to have a plan to be able to, to use them. Uh, but okay, let's talk about the main ones. All right, Tinder and Bumble. Basically, if you're a really good looking guy, you're probably going to do well in Bumble. If you have really, really good pictures, you're probably going to do well on them too. But I'm, you know, you, they have to be really, really good. Bumble is probably where you know, uh, looks definitely uh, matter the most. Um, but like I said, you guys, if you have four to five good pictures, like you don't even have to really be a good looking guy to take a good looking picture. Like if you have four to five good pictures and a great profile, like a lot of these problems are gonna solve themselves. Um, but typically with the Tinders and the Bumbles, this is where the most men are. This is around 70% men on these apps. Um, Bumble, it's a little bit less, but it's, it's predominantly men that are on these apps. And they're all looking, most of them are looking to hook up. So. It's a, it's a pretty saturated market and you have to stand out. And if you're not doing well there, then I would recommend that you try something else. Like maybe try Hinge, maybe try um, uh, OkCupid, okay maybe try, um, what are some other ones that are, that are out there? Uh, Happen, there, there's, that's another one too. Um, there's a lot of different apps out there and they all have different little tweaks here and there. And you know, depending on your area and depending where you're at, like they can work differently. Okay, so um, a lot of the apps that I just mentioned, they tend to be male dominated, but um, a lot of the apps that I'm gonna mention now are female dominated. Uh, so females use dating apps a lot. And you know, what they usually do is they'll download the app and then they'll kind of get like, they'll kind of get burnt out after a little bit, but they tend to stay on, stay on these other apps longer. Um, Coffee Meets Bagel, you know, <laughs> Christian Mingle. <laughs> Okay, now obviously these apps are geared more towards relationships. Um, so if you just are kind of looking for one girl and you're happy with that to go on a date with her, yeah, download Coffee Meets Bagel. That's like 60% women. I think Christian Mingle is like 65% women. Okay, if you're Christian, you're single, and you're not on Christian Mingle, I don't know what you're doing, man. Like, <laughs> you should be on that app. Okay, as a guy, you have a lot of selection to pick from. Okay, and the other thing too um, that you have to understand is like think about the kind of girl that you're looking for, you know, like even you can lump all of these types of apps together, um, but there are little differences between them. You know, I see I see the young uh, girls going a lot for the Tinder because that's just the first app that everybody downloads, the most popular. Uh, and then as people start to get older, they start, you know, looking in different areas like Match.com, eHarmony, a lot of these other sites if you're a little bit older, they can work a lot better for you. you know, they require you to pay a little bit of money, um, but in the end, I actually think it's kind of worth it if that's what you're looking for. You know, the types of women that go on there are serious. They will meet up with you. Whereas opposed to Tinder, it's kind of like, you know, a lot of them are just hanging out and they just kind of want to see which guys are thirsty for them, which guys like them, um, and you know, they, they don't really want to meet up. Okay. Now, do I have friends that are super successful on Tinder? Absolutely. You know, I'm actually decently successful on it. I wasn't before. I used to suck on these dating apps because my pictures were terrible. Um, and it took me a long time to figure out how to take pictures, you know, all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm obviously doing pretty well on them, but before I was doing horribly and I kept trying to make apps like Tinder and all that stuff work. I do okay on Tinder now, but I do better on a lot of other apps. I actually do pretty well on um, you know some of the other ones like Hinge, Bumble. Um, some of those apps, I think, if you're they're not working well with Tinder, then yeah, try some other ones. You know, with this guy especially, he's only using Tinder and he's not getting very good results. So think about the kinds of women that you're looking for um, and try and meet up with them on something else. I, I tend to prefer women that are serious, that do like to meet up, that are interesting, intelligent, beautiful, like those kinds of things. So. I'm going to download an app that I feel like would satisfy those. And if you don't like a lot of the women that you're seeing on a certain app, 
get another one. I mean, sometimes it takes a little bit of time for the algorithm to figure it out. Um, so like give it at least a week or something like that. Um, but then, you know, move on to some, some other ones. That's why these different apps exist. And they're usually started by women because women are very niche. They look for a certain kind of guy. They're looking for a certain kind of relationship. Um, and so they have a bunch of different apps that, um, you know, that, 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 are, that are there for them. I mean, Bumble got started because a woman left Tinder. She wasn't satisfied with it, you know, for some other reasons too. But um, so look for new apps, look for an app that would embody the kind of woman that you're looking for. Um, and I think you're gonna be a lot more successful. Um, so this is something that I talk a lot about in my programs and I kind of go on personally with each individual guy. Uh, but I thought I'd give you guys a little bit, uh, some tips here and there uh, that hopefully will help you out. So hopefully this answers your question, man. Hopefully this helps you guys out. If you made it and consider subscribing. If you're interested in getting coached by me and getting into that 5% dating program or some of the other programs that I have, uh, there's a link in the description box below. Click on it and I look forward to speaking with you soon. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.